Here at TFM we offer the gold package. The first thing I like to do is just sit and chat with you when you come through the door, just find a little bit about what you're doing. At this point I'll also run through anything in your medical history, so whether you've had broken bones, uh, and all of these things can have a bearing later on when we're actually looking at the bike. Then we move on to the anatomical measurements. We measure your height, we measure the length of both feet to check whether they're the same. We measure the length of your torso, the length of your inside leg, your arm length, and then your shoulder width. All of these are aspects which, when we put the information into the computer system later, it will help to determine the relationship between your height and all those different factors. We run eight flexibility checks. The first one is sit bone width. It measures the distance across your sit bones. This is very relevant to the width of your saddle, which is relevant to your comfort on the bike. The second one is the hamstring flexibility. The flexibility in your hamstrings can affect how aggressive the position on your handlebars can be. Third one is called the Thomas test. This basically checks how flexible you are in your hip flexor and your iliopsoas muscle area and your ITB, your iliotibial bands. The leg length difference test. A leg length difference can be caused by a twist in the pelvis or in the lower back. We simply then look at the foot arch measurement. Then we look at the knee position, see whether the knees are collapsing in or collapsing out, whether you've got good stability in the muscles around the knee. Then we look at the hip position. This looks at how level the pelvis is. Then you've got the one leg squat. It looks at the stability of the muscles around the knee and in the core. We would actually set the fit bike up to your current measurements. We use 3D motion to capture real-time video footage of your cycling on the bike on this. It'll know what your hip angle is, what your knee angle is. It'll record all of those measurements. And at the end of that, it'll flash up on the screen with some recommendations, either your seat up or down, your seat forwards or backwards, the bars up or down. I'll then make those adjustments. Sometimes I'll run that two or three times. What that does is it uses the algorithm, but there's no human input. Once we've done that, what I normally all do is use the laser tool, measure your new coordinates from the fit bike, and then if needs be, we extrapolate those over onto your current bike. It, sometimes it might mean you need different width bars, different length stem. We'll always try to make it fit without costly improvements to your bike. Then we'll tighten everything up. You can take your bike away. I'll always record all the stats, so if you do need to come back and have any other bikes set up, we've got all the measurements there, and you'll get your report from the computer analysis, which has got all the other measurements on it.